So the market street is really heavy with the third quarter earnings, but on the main street, we have talks around the medium term expenditure framework and the fiscal strategy paper. Then we have those around the 2017 budget, where are we? And if 2018 budget deadline presentation to the National Assembly will be ready by this week, technically tomorrow, it's the final day. Uh, in October, and of course, uh, we have the uh, the Ocean's uh, roadmap for roads. Michael Fumaruti is the economist at the Tiva Capital Management, is trying to help us uh, squeeze all these uh, main street uh, news headlines together into some trading decision making. Good morning, Michael. It's good to have you. Morning. Same here. Yeah. How much of these uh, headline economic news? How much impact does it have? will they have on, on, on the markets, whether they are fixed income, treasuries, bills and bonds and equities or derivatives, whatever, uh, as we wrap up the month of October? Well, I think what we've seen in the last couple of months and what we expect to see going forward really is that the markets, both fixed income and equity side, will remain driven by the macro space. So any feelers that you get, whether it's from budget passage or from government borrowing plans and so on, these are going to have a big impact on the on market sentiment, yes, but also on how companies perform in the medium term. So we've seen a number of earnings filter through in the last couple of weeks. We haven't seen that much of a market reaction. And it's not so surprising as the major catalyst in the near term are going to be macro pace. So um, if the budget is actually if it actually goes through as planned this week, um, that's something that would likely be positively received by the market going into the next month. Uh, Michael, look at this. Uh, the Road Trust Fund Program initiative of the Adjustments Ministry is in the news. The financial markets, firms like yourself, Vetiva, will be involved in this if you want to play uh, in that as a financial intermediator. Uh, this will move the construction sector, yes or no? And it should move it massively. Well, yes, yeah, so the construction sector is one that has struggled over the last couple of years, really. Um, we thought that with the heavy capex spend planned for since 2016, that there would be a boost there, but it hasn't really picked up, um, and that has had an impact on the cement sector, for example. So, any initiatives that are looking to it again. Uh, it looks like we lost uh, uh, Michael Famoroti from uh, uh, Vativa Capital Management there. A little bit of a patchy Skype uh, network this morning. But it's okay. Uh, let's look at the... Uh, Michael Famoroti, thank you very much for, uh, for uh, the earlier part of your conversation about how all the main streets, economic data, uh, would impact the market. Construction is one sector you need to look at as the road trust fund uh, begin to be expanded and everyone gets to understand it and becomes uh, uh, effective uh, getting Nigeria's road infrastructure deficit up and running. But again, you want to look at the oil and gas uh, sector this week. Look at how the markets uh, in that the big seven finished off this week. Total reported an interim cash dividend of three naira. If you're holding these stocks, you're getting three naira per share for half year 2017. Uh, early next year, we'll get what this uh, oil major will declare as a uh, full year uh, dividend per share. Three naira per share is what to tell the, sh the price, however, that's a bit of a profit taking down 5% last week. Cornell was unchanged. Forty Oil uh, lost 4.99%. And uh, Double One uh, PLC, formerly Mobile, is 155.6. And MRI is 27.46. Owando is in the news this week. Everyone uh, involved in that regulatory tussle are heading to the Lagos Federal High Court on Thursday. That's the 2nd of November. We'll keep an eye on that as well. Let's uh, just leave it there, shall we, for today. Uh, let's get back tomorrow morning and continue the conversation. And uh, you know where to find us on Twitter, at Channel TV, at Biz Morning, and just tag me along and let me mind your business at B. Bosen. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you again.